So hey, Amira. Got your email, uh, and I'm gonna record it and send it to you by by maybe YouTube or something. Uh, it will be easier because I think it's too much to explain by email. It will take forever to write it. So hey, uh, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm I'm living in Berlin right now. Um, uh, before that, I was in Brighton. I was working in the Fab Lab Brighton. I was instructing Fab Academy there. And I moved here to Berlin and I'm working with, in the same kind of field, uh, working in the, in the big lab here as well. So, um, interesting, you guys got the, 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 the robotic arm. This is good. This is good stuff. Because one thing that was bugging me was the fact that the, this robotic arm, there was like, there was almost six months of me working on it to get to this point would be just, um, just just in vain. So I'm happy you guys got it. I have some more questions as well for you. I want to know if you guys are going to, uh, what you're going to do with it. Um, how much are you going to work with it for how long? So I know what to tell you, what to improve and so on. Um, so great that Adriana gave it to you guys. I haven't met Professor Essig. It would be nice to, to have a word with him. Mm. Um, so the, to, to start step by step, um, this this robotic arm is um, is, called, is is from Barcelona. It's, it's from BCN 3D. The company is called, and then the robotic arm is called Moveo. So this is the the, the project here, Moveo robotic arm. If you just search for it you're gonna find a lot of things because it's open source um let's see here for instance yeah so you have a video how the robot how the robotic arm is supposed to look so ours is already in this stage um yeah apparently they didn't up update a lot but hopefully they they worked on the software because the software was not too good when i when i was playing with it um, anyways, this is open source. Uh, important things I think to mention is the first of all, you got these stepper motors there. This is the big one. This is the biggest one. This is the most strong one. It's called NEMA 23. All the other ones you have are NEMA 17s, which are the ones that you're normally finding 3D printers, and this very own in in here. No, it's inside. It's uh, it's inside here and turns this, so this thing would turn like this. Um, that's a NEMA 14, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but the thing is, since I had to buy things and buying things by via universities is, is a bit complicated. Um, these uh, serve this this stepper motors. They need a thing called a driver. So those things right in there, if you can see my mouse hovering over, hovering over, these things are drivers. And it's one driver per stepper motor. And I overkilled the rest of them. So this one is a TB6600, if I'm not mistaken. It's a Toshiba, it's a Toshiba um, um, driver. And... The, the model is there, is on the microchip. So it's, if it's not 6600, it's 65 something, something like that. Um, so this Toshiba driver um, is big enough to drive the NEMA 23. If I'm not mistaken, they will, they, will, they will give you 4 amps, up to 4 amps. You probably don't want t t 4 amps. Um, it, want maybe a little bit more maybe three up to four amps i think that actually to be honest i think that these these um steppers are um limited to three amps so that's the max you should provide each stepper but since you have two steppers one on each side one here one there if i'm not mistaken yeah i see two belts here it's already been a, lo a while ago so two of these guys are are wired together so if you see the wiring of these stepper motors the two come freely two of them are soldered in series so they are in series these motors the this is why you probably are using 
two of the drivers to drive these two guys or only one at the max power and if this is the case if all the wiring of the the NEMA 23s are wired to only one driver I would suggest you guys you buy one bigger one one another there's another one I think you can buy easily on Amazon but uni is not super happy when you buy stuff from Amazon so you go for um, go for a 7 amps max and then you use only one driver rating uh, providing 7 amps to run both of these guys here in that case you you can control the amount of power you give the amount of current you give in the, the driver you just give the max which it would be 6 meaning 3 amps to one 3 amps to the other or maybe less you just gotta try anyways the other ones there's the, the second ones and so so these the one in here if I'm not mistaken is a um, I also have different pictures on my Instagram there we go in here so this one this one in here is a NEMA 17 with a planetary gear so it has a big reduction to it so this one you're probably gonna give I think max 2 amps but you gotta gotta check the data sheet of the of it probably 1.7 is should be the max but check the data sheet of the NEMA 17 stepper motor uh, this is this is wired only to one um, driver and in the driver you limit the current um, and so forth and so on so you check them all so the 14 the, the NEMA 14 obviously you're gonna give less power to it and I am not super I think that they shouldn't have used the 14 they should have used 17 here as well because sometimes this wasn't tur turning um, anyways uh, there's one more which will be turning the base here this will rotate left and right like this and there's also a NEMA 17 but it's a bit longer one it's a bit more powerful and you can also up the, 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 the current a bit more um, what else so 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 far I'm just telling you how to, to, to wire these things to, to the drivers and you gotta check the, the, the wires the, the, the drivers they, they receive uh, they receive power from power supply you're gonna I don't know if Adrenaline already gave you a power supply or you're going to have to provide one. Um, so that power supply, check the, the, the voltage it, it will give you and the max amp, the, the max current that it will, it will give you. Um, because you want to sum all the current, all the, the steppers are going to use and your little Arduino Omega is not going to... Uh, um, take a lot of uh, current very little so just check if your driver in the data sheet of the driver you can see that uh, check the driver to see the the current you the, the, the voltage you can you can provide it with I think the that you I think 12 volts will be all right but it's like a long range it's probably like from 9 volts up to 36 something like this um, yeah all these things you can see in the data sheet and you can find the model of the driver in the driver um, let me see if I have another picture of it in here so I could uh, help you out oh cool so these are the drivers there and unfortunately I didn't yeah um, more pictures no anyways um, you can f easily figure out that out. So, opa, there you go, there you go. The drivers are called TB six five six zero. So this is what you have to do. So you get this. You go to data sheet. Step motors. Let's try that. There they are. Well, they they don't they don't have to necessarily look the same. Actually, the the, sh the ship the micro ship here is what matters. The driver is this guy here. The, everything else is just controls and so on. Um, 
7 output current choice max 3.2 okay that's your max 3.2 amps that's really not a lot uh, that's actually the peak and this is you know this is the number you should go for supply voltage up to 32 all right so you could use a 12 volt power supply um, I, this is this is a, an odd data sheet. I would normally look for a different different one. Um, it's if it's not wired at this moment. Just to give you some heads up. Heads up. These are the these. The, so the stepper motor has two coils. Has a lot, but ba mainly two coils. And so A will be one coil. So, so A plus A minus. So A positive, A negative is from one coil. And then the B is another coil. So if you go to my Instagram here, I also sh I'm also showing somewhere how to how to figure out how to um, how to find out what is it, what coils are, to are together. So it's somewhere up here, I guess. Anyways, my Instagram uh, gram account is 3D Bueno. So Instagram slash 3D Bueno. And I don't know what I have, but somewhere there I have these videos. Uh, there you go, this one. If even after wiring your uh, NEMA 17 based on its uh, data sheet, if you're still in doubt, huh. there's a nice way to cross check it. I know, based on my data sheet, that red and blue they are a coil. And black and green, there are another coil. And you know how it turns smooth when it's free. And just short here, red with blue. This is basically just a wire, simple wire. There's nothing special about. It. So I'm just shorting. This is why I say shorting because I'm I'm closing the contact. So you put this wire to the other to the other wire. To just you have like four options for pins here. Just wire them together, and then when you t t uh, try to, to turn the stepper, if it's harder to turn, means that you got a coil, you found the coil. So that's one coil, and the other two options are obviously another coil. So um, one coil will be one coil you, you, wire, you put it here, A and A. Try first, I don't think that it could be that you don't, it doesn't even matter the, the the polarity at this point is ju just sometimes you want to invert the polarity then you invert the coils so just just found the coil put one wire here one wire there and then the other coil you put one here and one there that's it this is the the power supply is going to be providing 24 volts in this one in this case but we saw that it's up to 32 anyways pro sometimes if it's saying 24 it's probably the most ideal voltage for you to use because it has some voltage regulators but they burn a lot of uh, they, they have to burn a lot of heat to 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 compensate uh, the difference of voltage so if you can use a 24 volts better uh, this is where I said about the current uh, wait, wait this is it no actually this is torque okay torque is for um, the the, the, the current this is a certain combination of these guys that you see in here um, is it's to set the max current or the the current that you need for um, for the stepper that you are going to wire this to and these guys here are regarding um, micro stepping so you don't want to use one micro stepping because that's just too loud and full of vibrations and you want to smooth it so you probably want to use like a micro stepping of one uh, one seven one sixteenth which you know you can find this you can also research about that if you cannot figure this out just let me know sign signal power and this is a signal um coming from the Arduino or in this in this case the Arduino Mega so this is you're gonna this is where you're gonna plug your Arduino. Mm, all right.
Okay, enough about the, the driver. Oh, by the way, this, so this, this you have to figure out which one is the pulse, direction, and encoder, and that is in documentation of the the BC and 3D, the the, the movie movie. So they have also nice documentation. So you should just have a look on on their stuff um, somewhere and general. I don't know. Just keep just go around and have a look. Figure out what else. Um, if I were you, I would change the base. The base is just two sheets of three millimeter. I think five millimeters MDF, and these 3D printed parts are too weak. I would just print them again and and more more thick and stable. So rough. If you can print with a 0 0.8 diameter nozzle, it's normally stronger and something kind of bigger and thicker than this. Uh, yeah. What else? Um, there's a servo up there. Um, somewhere in the Arduino, you will, you wired the, the servo, <clears throat> but also have a look on documentation. If I'm not mistaken, ah, I, I know what. Actually, the Arduino Mega is is is, is uh, wired to a ramp so 1.4, which is a is a board. There's a board that's plugged to the Arduino. Um, if you don't have it, you're gonna have to buy it, but it's pretty cheap to buy an Arduino Mega, if you buy a generic one it'll probably cost you like 5 euros and the ramps 10 or 12 euros so uh, not too bad and, the, and, and in the ramps you already have some spaces for for, for a certain um, stepper motor so what you do is, is that have a look on the on the ramps documentation data sheet like I just did, or just 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 write on Google ramps 1.4 pin out pin out, and you're gonna find a lot of nice maps of pin outs of the ramps where you're gonna find where you're gonna see these things which one is the pulse which one is the direction which one is the in enable enable. Anyway, um, yeah, basically that. I mean, just just drop me some more questions if you have any. I'm gonna now try to compile this and try to to compress this and put it in a, in the YouTube or something. All right, see you later.